YouTube, what's up? Nelson here at One Chair, One Mirror. Today I'm going to teach you how to curl your hair, but with a straightener. Now I know a lot of you guys think that this is a very, very difficult technique, but let me just get that out of your mind because from the people that I've taught, what I notice is that a lot of us just overcomplicate things, and I just know the perfect way to break it down for you guys. Now curling hair with a straightener is actually one of my go-to methods. The reason being is that nowadays we don't want anything too tight. We just want something loose, something more natural, something that just looks very effortless. Now before I actually show you with a straightener, like I said before, I'm gonna break it down for you. You know when you guys wrap presents, sometimes you just wanna make it extra nice by putting extra ribbons on it, and you would actually curl it. That is exactly the same thing. Now people do it different ways. Some people use scissors, some people use pencils, but the formula is just the same. Now here's a piece of ribbon. What you do is that you put your tools against it and your thumb over it, turn, and pull. Right? Do you see that one little curl already? Now this time we're gonna go all the way through. Put against it, your thumb, turn, and pull. Now why am I showing you this? Because when you get this concept, you just gotta do the same thing with a straightener. Now if you have never done this with your presents, good for you because you probably give really good presents and there's no need for extra packaging. So in the same way, if you have a very crappy personality, learning how to curl hair might be the perfect way to hide it. Blood cut. Oh. I'm just joking, but seriously, there are only two things you gotta worry about. Twist and pull. That's it. Now first of all, you want to do is you want to section the hair starting from the bottom and each subsection should not be any wider than an inch and a half to two inches. Putting the hair through, twisting it one full circle and then start pulling. Now after you're done this section, you just want to twirl it with your hand with your fingers and just forming the curls that you just created. Now moving on to the next section doing the same thing twist and pull now make sure you don't clamp it too hard because if you do it will be very hard for you to twist and pull the hair through now for me once it passes the center line of the head I change the direction of the way I curl so for this section I'm doing the same thing but just twisting it the other way now the reason why I do this is because I like the look of having the curls going away from the face. That to me look a bit more natural and just nicer. So same thing with the next section, we're gonna twist it the other way, going away from the face and start pulling. Now we're just gonna bring another section down. For me, I usually do everything behind the ear first. So anything on the side that's in front of the ear, I'm just gonna leave it for later. Now doing the same thing, twisting away from the face and pull. Now one more tip is that you wanna keep the motion consistent. You don't wanna clamp, pause, twist, pause, and then start pulling. You might create very weird bends if you do that. So try to keep each motion as smooth as possible. Once again, remember to change direction of the curl once you cross it to the other side of the head. Again, going with the same direction as the one you did before. Twist and pull. Yeah, you think it sounds like a workout video too, don't you? Twist and pull. Ready? One more time. Twist and pull. Doing the same thing. Twist and pull. Five, six, seven, and... Yeah, let's just move on to the sides. Now to be honest with you, we're not doing anything different. But I am taking my sections a bit more diagonal and slanted. 
Now twisting it and pulling it away from the face. Please don't forget, because these are the ones that people are going to see first thing when they look at you. And then you're going to do the same thing, bringing each section down one by one. Moving up on the head until everything is complete. Now after everything is done, I usually go in with my hands and start breaking up some curls. Now remember, we don't want anything too unnatural. So this is why we try to make every curl look a little bit different by just breaking it up. For this one, I actually did not do too much just to show you guys that this is one look that you can go for. Now if you guys want something softer, here's what you do. Just run your hands through it like no tomorrow. Don't be afraid because if your curls were legit, they're not gonna go straight. As you can see, we didn't put any hairspray in this and I'm just going at it. This actually lasted her 3 days and we didn't even put any finishing products on it. So if you're someone that doesn't like any hairspray or any kind of product in your hair, this will be perfect for you. That's it for now, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a like or subscribe. You can also follow my Instagram to see the work that I do. Other than that, see you guys next time.